solve this problem balancing of rotating masses inclined to both a plane so it is uh, we are going to follow the graphical method to solve this problem actually we have got four masses so they are given four masses and all the masses are equally separated in a single shaft so it is in a it is not in the same plane all the masses are in different plane so let us draw all the masses in this uh, diagram so i'm going to draw the masses here in this shaft so first mass is 200 so first mass i'm going to keep it here and the second mass is 300 and the third mass is 400 and the fourth mass is 200 so we are going these are all masses so let me mark it mark the masses like this so this is we name this masses e this mass is B, this mass is C and this mass is D and uh, you know the uh, distance where I just mark the distance between this and uh, between this and this is yes, it is given as 300 300 from here to here it is 400 so 400 from here to here it is 400 from here to here the end this is 700 so that is what given in the question so so these are all the masses they are rotating rotating um, and uh, it is also given that the balancing plane since there are this is all the masses are in different uh, planes we need two masses to balance the one mass to balance the couple force and one mass is to balance the centrifugal force. So they have given us X and Y. These are the two planes and uh, we, we can name it as X and Y are the two planes and the two masses has to be added in the, in the plane to balance. They are given where it will be. So X is 100, 100, 100 uh, from, the, from this place. So from the, this place we take it as 100 and this is, that is where the x mass is. So x, if we take this as a reference plane. Reference plane. This is x actually. x. Okay. So y is actually uh, the given it is 400 from there. From here, 400 means it will be here. From x, it is 400, so this will be here. Y will be coming here. So this is where y will be. So x will be here. We take this as a reference plane. So this side you should take negative as negative, and the other side you should take it as positive. So that is what. So these are all the masses. So you can see it to show that this is a mass. So now we are going to uh, draw the other view of it. This are all when you are seeing from this angle, this 
the masses are seen like this rotating. In a seen from the other view, we have to draw because the angle in which it is rotating is important. So we are, we are trying to draw that position of that. So for that we locate one point. From there we try to draw the entire uh, masses. The first mass is, uh, from the first mass we take it as under 0 degree. So the 0 degree we are going to have the first mass. So this is very first mass, we take it as, so first mass is, this is 200 kg mass, this is, you can see, we know it is A mass, at A mass, it is at a distance of, uh, how much, it is at a distance 80, it is 80, 80 mm from this, the next is angle you should see, a to B is 45 degree, so you take a protractor and mark the 45 degree. Protractor, mark 45 degree. 45 degree, and we we draw that force. We draw that. mass and we put the masses B and next is at 70 degree so again you take uh, 70 degree and this is the length of this is 70 70 is the length of this 70 mm and uh, next is 70 degree for the other mass so you take 70 degree and uh, point, point it somewhere here so we take that and this. The length need not be in the scale, but the angle is very important. So this is C and the length is uh, length is given as 60. Is 60. Length is 60. 60. And the fourth mass is 120 degree. 120 degree. 70 degree it is given. So fourth mass is 120. Again you take the protractor and mark 120 degree. Is it here? Around here. This point. So now we can draw this uh, line and mark that mass too and you know this is a D mass D, A, B, C, D we have got all the three masses so we don't know the uh, unbalanced mass X and Y where it is going to be so that is our uh, problem that we have to find out so the distance is actually if we are taking it, it is 80 this is also 80 Do you know the mass is 200 kg this is 300 kg, this is 400 kg, this is 200 kg. Okay, so now what we do is we tabulate, uh, tabulate it to find the uh, what all the uh, forces, centrifugal forces in the system. So we draw a table to tablet the centrifugal forces. So we know the thing. So we start uh, we try to put this. Uh, the first is the uh, um, what is that? Plane. Which plane here? So we are uh, taking out the mass and then the radius, the distance between the center to the mass connection and then the force, centrifugal force.
centrifugal force it is m into r the kg meters meters and the length and we we find the couple force which is m into r into l if this will be in kg meter square okay so now fill out the this boxes one by one you know you know e e is the first second one is x then is b c and then d so we uh, fill out the uh, masses corresponding to a it is 200 radius corresponding to this is 0.08 and for b the mass is 300 and it is 0.07 for c it is 400 it is 0.06 for d the mass is 200 is 0.08 so we multiply this m and r and write it here you know for uh, it is uh, 16 when you multiply centrifugal force will be 16 multiply this and write and here when you multiply it is 21 it is 24 and 16 similarly the length length from the reference plane you should see from reference plane to this side it is 100 mm so when convert into meters it is 0.1 since it is in negative direction from the reference plane we put minus then it is 200 so 0.3 0.2 0.3 and 0.6 now multiply m r into l to find the couple forces for all the system 1.6 4.2 7.2 and 9.6, and we have to fill this x also, x and y also. We we don't know the masses. We don't know the mass that we have to use for balancing. That is what we are going to find out. So the the radius is given because in the question itself it is given radius is 100 millimeter. So we can write it 0.1 for r. The millimeter, so point one. So we need to multiply this point one into m max will be the uh, centrifugal force for x, and point one into m y will be the centrifugal force. When you multiply the length, because this x only we are taking as a reference, this only we are taking as a reference. So the reference is zero. From reference, this distance is. For four four hundred is what given in the question, so we write point four meters. When you multiply, this will become zero. When you multiply this, this will become point zero four into m y. Okay. Okay. So now we. Go in for uh, this uh, calculating the uh, masses. How we go about is first we balance it and find or uh, draw the couple polygon and uh, find the M Y and the angle in which M Y is going to be there. So first we are going to draw the couple polygon. For that we are going to use this diagram. This diagram. So. So you can use your drafters when you are uh, uh, drawing. Okay, now I am uh, drawing the uh, vectors one by one. So for the couple polygon, so the first two will be. Will be I am going to draw this. This this is where the this is the direction of the vector for the couple polygon. and we are going to take all the values corresponding for the for this problem to here for couple polygon we are going to take the values from this box 
from this box. So you have all the values required for the couple polygon. So using these values we are going to draw one by one. So, so first is uh, we are going to start from here. So we are going to start from here. So the 1.6 is what? So I am going to draw 1.6 parallel to this. So let me 1.6 parallel to this. So just make it parallel to this and draw uh, just, just parallel to this and draw 1.5 from this point. So I take 1.5. In this way, so it will be easy for you to see. 1.6 actually, the value is 1.6. So 1.6, we take 1.6, 1.6, 16, we take it as 16 centimeter. Okay. So now from this point we are going to draw the couple force for 4.2, 4.2 corresponding to B point, 4.2, 4.2 now we are going to 1.6 we have drawn now 4.2 for that we have to take parallel to this vector is going to be parallel to this. So so we are drawing this the vector that you are going to draw is going to be parallel to this we draw a reference for that then we can make it fair you know the dimension is dimension is 4.2 so take 4.2 accurately and put it so this is zero, this is point A, this is A, A. this is B. Okay. So B. So from there now uh, this is a, you know it is a minus minus one point six. This is four point two. Now next is next value is seven point two. 7.2 so, so we have that, that the vector is going to be parallel to this C this this is the direction of the vector so now we are going to draw parallel to that so we are going to keep it like this and uh, just make parallel line so So I make a reference parallel line and then I will modify it. Okay. So the length is, the length uh, I should put this, uh, length is 7.2, so it is longer, 7.2. So it's coming like to that. So next is uh, this one. This is uh, 9.6. Next point is 9.6. Correspond to this. So now we have to draw the vector, couple vector corresponding to this uh, mass. So we have to draw a parallel line to this. The value should be 9.6. 9.6. So accordingly, we are going to do it. So be parallel to this, so we are keeping it in this way and moving it to get the exact parallelism.
Now I draw a reference line. So what what we require is 9.6. Now I'm going to put 9.6 in this. Nine point six I have put, and nine point six is what I have put. So this is going to be the resultant. Okay, this is going to be the M Y point zero four M Y value. Point zero four M Y value will be this vector I am going to draw, which is the resultant and balance couple. This is the unbalanced couple. So this will give you. The resultant. So this is called the couple polygon. We have all finished the couple polygon completely. So value of this will be 0.04 MY. So if you if you just measure this, the value is coming to be like a. Just measure it's around eight. It is coming. So if you put, you will get the mass. So point zero four m y is equal to eight. So the m y what is what will be the value of m y? M Y the M Y will be eight by point zero four. You will get around one seventy eight kg. One seventy eight kg. So now what you do is uh, you measure that angle. Of inclination, measure the angle of inclination. So the angle is coming to be like 12 degrees. Angle is coming to be 12 degrees. So you draw the resultant there. What you're getting at exactly 12 degree you're getting. So measure it here. 12 degree. Exactly 12 degree. I'm getting it so marking that we can draw the resultant that is the coupled resultant that is where you get the coupled resultant that is where you are going to have one mass to balance that is where you are going to put the one of the mass it is 12 degrees from this side so because this is a direction so the direction of this Couple polygon is going like this, so the resultant, so the y mass should be added here. So now we got the angle also. Theta y is 12 degrees. So now we can draw the force polygon. For for force polygon, we have to use the force polygon that we have obtained already. This is the force polygon values we have obtained. Using that, we can we can draw the this is the force polygon values. So since you know the MOI value, you can substitute it and uh, get the uh, value for this also. So 0.1 MOI, uh, you can get the value of it. So based on that you can put. Now what you do is start start drawing the couple polygon. So the values that you use for the force polygon is this one. So start drawing it. First you put the forces only for the known masses. So as usual you are going to draw parallel forces and the magnitude equal to what is in the table. So we take it parallel. The 
टेक दिस लाइन पैरल लाइन फ्रॉम हियर पुट इट डाउन एंड वी ड्रा दिस रेफरेंस लाइन फोर्स पॉलीगन कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस ये लाइन एंड वैल्यू इज 16 द फोर्स इज 16 के जी मीटर सो 16 आई हैव पुट नाउ फॉर द नेक्स्ट सेकेंड पैरल लाइन दैट हैज टू बी ड्रॉन फॉर ड्राइंग द फोर्स पॉलीगन फॉर द सो आई एम ड्राइंग द पैरल लाइन I'm moving it here, here, and now I'm making a reference line. And now the length is going to be. Uh, length is going to be four twenty-one. Length is twenty-one, so exactly keep twenty-one and right. Yeah. Now we have got this point. So this is twenty-one. So next to this is twenty-four. This is twenty-four for the third mass. So twenty-four. I am going to put twenty-four now. Third mass. I am going to keep it like this and hold the top uh, top one firmly. So that my parallelism is not getting affected. Now I am drawing it up this way. This is so the length is twenty-four. So twenty-four. We have drawn the force polygon for the third force. Also, I am putting it twenty-four. Now it's a, it's a it's it's time to draw the force corresponding to this mass. So the value is sixteen. So I am putting the value, uh, drawing the. So I am drawing the parallel force. Parallel force. Do it. Drawing a reference line. And now uh, it's the uh, the value is sixteen. So I keep it like this and uh, make it sixteen. Sixteen. Now. The unknown, so you know, point one m y. You know, we know the value of a uh, point one one m y because we have already found out the m y value. So using that, we can we can draw the so point one m y is equal to how much? You know, we know the value of m y. So point one into Two hundred kg. So, what is the MY getting? Is one seventy eight? It's twenty. Uh, yeah. So we are making it here. This twenty we are making it here. You know the direction of it. In my direction, you know already. It is this one. So this is what uh, direction of it. So it is going to be parallel to this. So we make it parallel to this, and just drag it on. And now we put a sample line. You know it should be twenty. So make it 
make it 20. Okay, this is, uh, you know, this is point 0.1 into my point 0.1 into my value. So this is already we found out, this is uh, 16. So now this long line joining this will be the resultant force. This force, this line which is joining this will be the resultant force. This is point 0.1 into Mx, Mx. We see this as a force polygon. First polygon, and we can measure this value of this point one mx. What do you measure? Uh, what do you measure from this? You have to write here. Okay, it's coming around uh, three point five, so it may vary a little bit. No problem. 3.5 right so the mx will be 350 kg i am getting mx value i am getting is 350 kg so we got the mx value so my value also and theta y also we got so now we can draw the resultant the resultant this uh, this is the uh, Balancing balanced mass, coupling couple balanced mass, we can draw the this balanced mass also in the diagram. Okay. Now we can draw the parallel line from here. This is the resultant we got, so we can replicate it in the diagram. This is where we got the resultant. So this is the resultant force. This is Y another line length. Okay. So this is where it is. So now we can measure the angle also and find out the angle of angle and also. So if you measure the angle it is it is coming it as theta x is one forty five degree. So this is what. So once the problem is given you have to draw the two views of the masses from the given question, find the centrifugal forces and couple forces. Using the couple force, draw the couple polygon. Using the centrifugal force, draw the force polygon. And the unknowns can be determined and the balancing mass can be obtained.